Hi, so welcome to the another class of Internet of Things. So in this class today, we will discuss about the standardization of IoT. We'll see the different IoT standards which are helping for the deployment of your Internet of Things. So uh, as we know that your Internet of Things is Anything plus any time connected, exchanging the information across the various global devices. So the ICD. information and communication technology is working day by day to uh, make together the various embedded devices ranging from your, like sensor devices to collect various information so that the information which is collected that is being exchanged across these sensor devices here so that means we are here from your sensors to networks and then to your big cloud services. So to enable these services or the connectivity of these services, what we require or they also make the use of you they can make the use of your existing GSM services, your UMTS, your 4G LT services, and the fifth generation in your future. Like by 2025, they will be using these technologies. So from this, we can just simply predict that we will have a variety of these devices here then different connecting network interface here and uh, the core services which just includes your cloud services here so that uh, we mean to say that we will have a variety of devices which will be from a different number of vendors and simply different network connectivity being used for these devices. So that means we need an interoperability. That means these devices can be employed or they can be used in any kind of network. That means they should be able to blend in any kind of uh, environment. Just not only its home environment, it should be able to blend or to exchange information with the devices in other environments also. After that, there are new enabling technologies for your Internet of Things. Now, if we talk about here the network virtualization so that means in your virtual world we have to Wall, what we have to deploy these network virtualization your SDN software defined networking and your cloud services for your IoT and if we talk about your physical world for IoT, then we need to expand your personal area network, your wide area network. So these things also need interoperability. So here, when we have so different kind of interfaces for enabling your IoT technology, so what we need is the 
standards here which can enable the interoperability, the reliability and the compatibility among these devices across such heterogeneous networks and techniques. That means there is a direct requirement of your standards for your inter operability then compatibility and reliability so that's why we need the standardization for your Internet of Things so that the various devices here can uh, connect and exchange information without any restraint of all these things. So there are different uh, standardization bodies which are addressing these issues of interoperability. That means they are uh, addressing the issues like providing uh, the protocol stacks for your Internet of Things and open standards. The standardized bodies are addressing the issues for providing the open standards for IoT and protocol stack so that it can be deployed fully. That means we have to extend or we have to expand the capacities for your HTTP, TCP IP etc and the various protocols like your zigbee bluetooth mq tt now another thing here about the uh, standardization is that it could be for you both within the domain and outside the domain so if we talk about here within the domain so that could be very uh, cost effective here and if we talk about with other domains so that basically provides the concept of interoperability with the different domains if they're engaged in different activities there so we have several standardization task force here which are working here for the global deployment of your internet of things here so like we have IERC, which is your Internet of Things European Research Cluster. So, this device here has the, uh, this organization, sorry, here is working for the standardization of the different protocols and open standards for your internet of things here so it basically believes that iot has to work for different iot will work for your different disciplines different applications and different network so it's just trying to make clear that yes there is a direct need of standardization for your internet of things here so there has been uh, another standardization bodies also like your european commission ec european commission et si ieee 3G PP, ISO, and uh, after that, your IOC with IEC and SEN and SEN. Like these organizations are here working for making the open standards for your Internet of Things here. So, there has been standardization of some uh, devices like your smart grid standardization and about that we also have your standardization for your smart vehicle control also so that these various devices can interoperate among different kind of environments here so we'll just see that how these organizations are making this global deployment for your internet of 
things here. Now, like we have this standard organization body here, which is your uh, European Committee for Electro Technical Standards. So now what this organization has been doing, this organization is basically trying to integrate the sensor data or this is working here for the standardization so it could make some standards which could do what integrate the sensor data from various devices A integration of sensor data from various devices to the existing barcodes or your RFID technology so that their performance can be improved so that means it's working here for your uh, data capturing standardization after that it also works for the integration of your data concept object data uh, concepts with your application so that their efficiency here is increased so integrating the sensor data and object data concepts into your different applications like if we have vehicle control applications or uh, traffic control applications, so they just have to integrate this data into those applications. So this part of uh, this integration of this data is basically commissioned by the technical uh, committee of your CEN here. Now, after that, the next one which we have is your ISO IEC which is your finally forming a GTC or so as we know, uh, know that ISO is international standardization of your objects and this is your international electro technical commissions which has basically formed a joint or this is basically referred as a joint technical group Uh, which has formed this SWG which is a special working group 5. Now what is the purpose of uh, this particular group? This particular group is working here to see the gaps of standardization for your IoT. That means once it uh, figures out that what are the gaps here in between the standardization for internet of things it will then try to fill those gaps here so that the technology here is enabled so that means it just tries to cooperate or provides more interoperability and uh, you can say that it also provides uh, interoperability here for different 3d pp networks or for different uh, your personal or your net, uh, neighborhood area networks. Now after ISO and this joint technical group we have third one which is your ETSI which is your European Telecommunication and Standardization Institute. Now, ITC is basically a uh, global uh, platform for your ICT. That means it's promoting here the new technologies. So, the technical committee here is specially enforcing working on 
machine to machine uh, communication here and its focus here is mostly on standardization for smart cities smart transportation and then enabling this machine to machine communication here and also working for interoperability across the 3GPP standards and your LAN and WAN standards here. Then we have next one IEEE, which is your Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Now, IEEE has claims, it states that Internet of Things is going uh, to transform the life. So, that means it has, a, or we can say that by saying the potential of the Internet of Things and the benefits from it, it has also directly implied that a standardization, a global standardization for Internet of Things is a must here. So, the IEEE, uh, your uh, Internet of Things is also uh, using here IEEE standards like your IEEE 8.14, which is your Zigbee. So, that means IEEE has made in co collaboration here with and the operation on your ISM band and it is also here working on cloud services um, that means it has enabled a cloud committee for your IoT services so IEEE has also many standards here including for your smart health and it also has for your um, smart vehicle system. But basically it's collaboration here is for your Zigbee Alliance, which is a major uh, enabling technology in your internet of things. Next, we have IETF. IETF basically is your Internet Engineering Task Force. Now, as we know that they're going to use IPv6 here for Internet of Things, so it has provided the header compression here for your IP6, uh, IPv6 over low power personal area network, which will be a global standardization as this standard here is promised that every device here should be connected to or every uh, device is supposed to be connected to your internet that means it will have an IP address here after that we have ITU which is your another sector which is working for the standardization of your IoT things since 2005. So, this basically works in the field of uh, network aspects. That means, like your radio frequency identification tasks here. It has uh, basically dealing with the ne uh, network as uh, aspects and standardization. Now, above that, open mobile. Alliance has also been working for standardization so that the various devices can get connected and interact in an environment. Above that, 3GPP has a major standard for your IoT and it is proposed to 
cellular internet of things which is a growing and demanding topic in the industries these days so there has been a number of releases of these standards for your cellular internet of things like for your l t m that is your long term evolution machine to machine version then it has ec gsm which is your extended coverage based on gsm then it has narrow band lte so these technologies here will be in your cellular iot so these are the various uh, standardizing bodies which are working across the globe here for the standardization process of your internet of things so that the various devices which are here in different kind of environments collecting the different kind of data with the help of the sensors from the uh, different uh, situations so they can uh, easily connect it to another devices that means they are able to connect or to exchange that information to other devices very easily that means they need to blend in so that's why we need open standards for that now if your wifi system which is a ieee standard here that is working properly across various heterogeneous systems so that's why because the wifi alliance has provided very good open standards for its interoperability the cellular networks the success of these things are here just because of these standardization process so for a large scale deployment of your internet of things we also require the standardization so there are different standardization bodies which are like working here from sensor to your cloud services so in this class we just have studied about the various standardizing bodies which are working for the iot deployment so this is all here for today's class we will be studying more about your internet of things in our further sessions thank you so much